Let's start from the beginning, the beginning of my journey. Since I was little, I grew up with a, let's say, more muscular body shape than the others. But you know, I was just a kid, and since I was born, I always had a smile on my face. So without a doubt, caring about how I looked did not quite affect me. In addition, I did practice loads of sports and was eating quite healthy, so criticizing my looks would not have made any sense. Unfortunately, puberty hit and my smile vanished until it completely disappeared. I started doing less with my family, spent more time alone and was ashamed and uncomfortable looking at old photos of me where I was standing next to my skinny friends, but at the time smiling carefree into the camera. And this leads me to my actual point, because with this speech I want to inform you about a problem that so many people have but is not talked about enough. Self-acceptance and self-love. 85% of the world population are affected by a low self-esteem, and to me that is a scarily high number. Recently, people started trying to spread body positivity on social media which is an amazing improvement in a nowadays so judgmental media. But of course, this quickly got out of hand. At first, it was important to value all bodies, but when plus-sized women started to spread love, they were heavily criticized, judged, and accused of promoting obese and unhealthy bodies. So now let me ask you this question. Do you really think this topic is not worth fighting for? I do think it is. And even if I struggle myself to recognize my self-worth, I want to help everyone until this number decreases. I don't want anyone to fall into the same trap I fell into. Be strong, know you're enough, know you're perfect, even with your little imperfections you dislike so much every day. Because I'm talking from experience, in the most cases, people don't even recognize those little details that seem wrong to you. And something important to remember is, no one cares. Literally, everyone is so focused on their own bodies and insecurities, and while you may be comparing yourself to others, there will always be someone who is jealous and comparing themselves to you. So now again, I want everyone to ask themselves, is it really worth it to spend so much time criticizing your body and surrounding yourself with negative thoughts? No, it is not. It is very difficult to love yourself and takes a lot of time, but at the end of the day, it is the basis of confidence and the best decision you can make to live an overall happier, thoughtless, and successful life. In conclusion, I want my story a little secret of my life to be a lesson to you. And please, be kind. Someone who might be struggling to accept their body is easily influenced by other people's judgments. Don't create other insecurities for them. Thank you.